I've wanted to make this video for a little while as a way of explaining my process as a trials rider. I'm 36 years old now, so I've spent over 20 years riding bikes and pushing myself and trying all sorts of different things, often in a lot of the same places and locations. And these clips are ones that I filmed for the cheap bike video a few months ago. And I really felt like this wall that I was trying to get up represented a lot of, again, what my process as a rider is like, which is about persistence. It's about not giving up. It's about how many times you have to try something and get so close in order to develop as a rider. Now, as I said, I'm 36 years old, so I'm relatively old as trials riders go. Um, it's certainly unlikely, not impossible, but unlikely that I'm ever gonna see a world championship that I ride in um, or be recognized by any major sponsors in this point in my life, but I do still love riding bikes and for me one of the reasons is this just drive that I have even on days like this when what I'm doing feels so close to being within reach but is still immensely frustrating and you can't see I've edited out a lot of this where I'm sweating, I'm frustrated, I'm swearing, I'm annoyed, I'm so frustrated at myself that I can't get the consistency, even though this is a bike that I've not ridden much before up until this point, um, and it's certainly not a very good bike for doing this kind of thing, but I knew it could do it, so I knew from these first few hits of getting the back wheel up on top of it that I could do it. And that's why I felt like I didn't want to give this up. There's only one real thing that would stop me being able to try something like this, which is, well, a couple of things, to be honest. But the one thing I was thinking of was if my camera ran out of battery. And that frustrates me a bit that I still think that way, that if I didn't get it on camera, that it didn't really happen. But if it became too dark, there's absolutely no external lighting where I'm riding at this point up here there's you know it's in the middle of nowhere or if I had something important that I had to get back for with my family or work or something like that but it's hard to describe the drive and I mean at this point like I had no water left with me like it's uh, not trying to sound dramatic but I was really thirsty I was getting a little bit dehydrated to be honest I knew I had water back in the van and I knew there were other stuff I wanted to go and ride that day to get on film with this bike but for some reason I was like I'm just gonna keep hitting this and that's I have two main ways of training these days and I do still think of it as training I've always thought of what I do as training not just going out for a ride or a social with my mates or whatever those are all nice things but it is training for me I do this for a living even before I did it for a living I thought of it as training because I just wanted to be better it's the same as going to the gym or you know revising for a test or anything like that it's sharpening your mind and body against the elements that you've decided to test yourself on. But as I said, I have two main things that I do. One is conditioning, which is basically going and doing stuff that I've done before. And I'm not very good at actually properly going and conditioning things, because I'll do something once and then be like, cool, move on to something else. I need to go back and really do things like 10 times in a row. But the other way of doing stuff for me is this. It's just bashing my metaphorical head against the wall but you know, it's not that metaphorical because I'm slamming the front wheel into that time and time again and at this point really I admit the only thing that's going to change that's going to get me up there after this many tries is luck there's I'm going to figure out something different 
which is going to help me to get up there but I'm not going to consciously know what that is it's just going to be yeah I mean I'm, I'm definitely thinking each time going right you know that time when it almost worked I'd crouched down more I'd looked on top of the wall because looking where you're going is really important I'd hit the front wheel lower and it's it's hard for me as not that great a trials rider to be able to psychologically connect those dots when it comes to doing something like this but I still try like as I say I'm 36 so I'm, I'm getting on a bit but I don't hope that my time spent riding bikes and my career of riding bikes isn't even halfway over because the thing that I haven't really spoken about so far which is the most important point about this is the joy that I get from doing this it's like it's equivalent I guess to when aboriginals would go out and go and walk about and deprive themselves of water or socialization or anything else like that because when you get to that point where you've sharpened your mind and pushed yourself so hard against this one task that you've set for yourself and it all comes to fruition then that feeling is just amazing that feeling of maybe not enlightenment perhaps but accomplishment and I don't know whether I can count it as an accomplishment because I tried it a hundred times and I did it once it's like throwing a dart at a dartboard in a dark room you might hit the bullseye once in a while but do you really deserve it and it's it's difficult for me to think about it that way but at the end of the day what is trials what is sport what is any of this if you only do it once you know if Usain Bolt can only run that 100 meters in 9.49 seconds once does that mean he can do it again and again and again and how important is consistency there's lots of questions there but for me it's important and the message for this video that I would say is important is trying keep on trying beyond the point where you think you just want to give up and go home because that's what makes you different from all the other riders out there and when you get it right it's amazing